All right, folks, I've got a lot to talk about, so let's get to it. And don't worry, I will comment on this strange object that I'm holding in my hands as well. Not that strange, but you know. Okay, so first of all, I would like your opinion on something. I've been thinking about reintroducing my intro or some kind of intro. I've had uh, a couple of different intros on my videos in the past, but uh, I, I haven't been using them in a while, simply because I figured that most people skip them anyway. I mean, after you've seen an intro for six times, seven, eight, ten, twenty, it just gets old and then you just skip it, right? At least that's what I do. Um, but I wanted to know your opinion. So I set up a survey on Google Docs. It's going to be link. It will be in the crotch bar or belly bar in this case. And uh, you can go there and vote on whether or not you would like to see an intro on all of my videos, as well as a couple of other questions, which I'll get to in a moment. Um, yeah. And speaking of this thing here, it's uh, something I got recently. Yeah, Zoom H1 audio recorder. And uh, this thing here is pretty nifty. It allows me to record externally independent of the camera and any microphones attached to the camera. It also allows me to plug in a microphone to it. And uh, I have also ordered a lavalier microphone. It's one of those small things that you clip to your clothes, uh, which I'm waiting for right now, which should be a pretty nice improvement in terms of quality. And uh, the main reason why I did that is because I've been having issues with my main camera. Uh, what I've been using so far is this shotgun mic here, Sennheiser MKE 400. And lately it has been giving me some trouble. Um, you may have noticed in the video where I talked about binding and winding in HEMA, where it has this annoying high-pitched noise in the background and the audio levels are kind of wonky. I don't know, I'm guessing the microphone is, is starting to crap out on me. I know how important audio quality is, so I wanted to fix that right away. Um, generally, I try to improve my videos as much as possible. Uh, my channel is still growing, which is awesome. And um, by the way, sometimes people kind of treat me as some sort of internet celebrity, which I find really strange. Uh, please don't. Like, if you want to treat me as some kind of special person just because I have an audience on YouTube, no, that doesn't make me special in any way, shape, or form. I'm still just a random idiot with a camera. That's it. So, <laughs> really don't do anything like that. And also, I want to keep it, I want to stick to this sort of more small channel mentality. Uh, you know, this this more personal thing, because you know from my videos, I, I, I'm just myself. I'm just babbling at the camera, basically. Uh, I don't want to be one of those people who just r st stiffly read from a script like a robot. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, some people are really good with their scripts, but um, I just want to keep it as natural as possible. And uh, from the comments, I know that that's what you guys appreciate. So it's win-win anyway. Okay, and more technical stuff. One thing that has been frustrating me more and more is the video camera. It's just not particularly good. It's a consumer level uh, camcorder. It's Okay, just to give you an example, here is the view of my editing program, Sony Vegas Pro, and here is the raw footage from one of my recent videos without any editing. And it just looks like ass. <laughs> it's really bad. It's you know poor contrast. The, the, the levels are off and uh, the white balance is completely off, even though I'm already using the manual white balance. Uh, it's all manual controls on the camera because the automatic one is even worse. But uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. It has this really nasty green tint. And uh, yeah, then I have to edit it quite a bit. Then it looks like this, which still isn't fantastic but it's a lot better but uh, yeah at the same time whenever i uh, insert a photo into my videos i really notice the, the difference like the the contrast is just garbage and uh, saturation and everything vibrance is just not very good with this camera which is not surprising it's not a professional model and so recently i've been looking into better camcorders and uh, it seems that in order to get a you know noticeable difference that would be worth it, I would basically have to 
invest at least $1,500. Uh, what I've been looking at is a Canon X-A10, and that's a semi-professional camcorder. Um, the you know, truly professional range basically starts at 2500 and uh, it can go up to 6000 10000 and basically the sky is the limit. This one here is considered a semi-professional, so it's definitely a step up from the consumer range, and uh, that would definitely make a substantial difference. It's um, still a lot of money, though. I just can't afford those 1500 bucks right now. Speaking of budget, you may remember at the start of this year, 2014, I talked about an armor project where one of my viewers contacted me and said he wanted to fund a full suit of armor for the channel. And it seems like that's not going to work out after all, unfortunately. At least I haven't gotten any response from him in about a, a month or even a bit more. Um, been trying to contact him but nothing uh, I don't know for sure why that is I mean the obvious assumption is he has changed his mind and just doesn't want to tell me but I don't want to jump to possibly unfair conclusions because for all I know he may be whatever in, in hospital or in prison <laughs> well, hopefully not but you know what I mean sometimes weird things happen and uh, you may lose access to the internet for various reasons for any length of time so I don't know what happened but that led me to think it's a lot of money for any single person to cover anyway I mean the full suit would cost seven thousand dollars that's a crap load of money and that's also one of the reasons why it to me it seemed a bit too good to be true this entire thing that any single person would just you know, contribute that much money to a random idiot on the on the internet with a camera. <laughs> it's just, but you know. So then I was thinking, there is of course always the idea of crowdfunding, and I know some people always roll their eyes when they hear that, uh, but in this case, it may make sense. I mean, if we consider that on average, my videos get about thirty thousand views. If only 1% of those views contributed a, a small amount of money, uh, it would be 300 people, and that would mean they would only have to contribute tw about $24 each. And people have actually suggested stuff like that in the comment section before and actually got quite a number of thumbs up. To be perfectly clear, this is not me asking for money for personal stuff. I mean, yeah, sure, I would really appreciate getting a suit of armor, of course, but the main idea is to have that for the channel to do demonstrations with. I could demonstrate how to fight against armor, uh, how to fight in armor, how to defeat armor, uh, how mobile it really is, you know, doing tests against it, you know, various things of that nature, which would, of course, be really interesting, and not too many people have done that which is easy to see because, well, it's a crap load of money, like I said. Obviously, I can live without armor. It's not something that I have to have. So to me, it's not that important, but to you, it may be. So I was thinking it might be an option to just give you the chance to, you know, as the viewers, to pool funds together and to make that happen. If I use Patreon funds, which I'm already getting uh, on a monthly basis. The funds for the armor, well, forget about it, basically. <laughs> it would take forever. Um, speaking of Patreon, uh, just to let you know what's been happening with that, uh, I really, really appreciate the support that people have given so far. And uh, the all the funds that I got through Patreon from uh, July all the way up to and including December have been invested in a pretty interesting purchase, namely a crossbow from Todd Stuff in the UK. He is a really skilled crossbow maker and he makes historically accurate battlefield crossbows. And uh, I thought that would be a very interesting thing to do tests with. Um, I haven't seen many historically accurate uh, crossbow replicas. So all of those Patreon funds are already invested. For next year I could invest a couple of months into the camera. That would be uh, let me see, five months, 
so that would take quite a while to get the camera with a um, campaign on tube start that would of course be a lot faster in case of the camera those hypothetical 300 people would only have to contribute five bucks so that's really not that much the 300 but at the same time i also know that one percent is overly optimistic usually the participation rates are a lot lower you can rather expect something like 0.3 percent maybe so in a lot of cases it doesn't doesn't really work out that easily but in the survey down there you'll find uh, a question regarding the funding as well for those people who would be interested in uh, contributing how much they would be willing to pledge and uh, based on that i can see if there's any point in trying this but uh, that's just a hypothetical consideration at this point i don't expect anything from anyone i mean i'm very grateful for you guys that you support my channel just by watching stuff that's all you need to do really i don't need anything else if you, as long as you keep watching my videos that's great that's awesome but if people are interested that is a way of um, investing into stuff in future videos that wouldn't otherwise happen okay that's about all for right now so thanks for watching as always